Using uh, RSBA1 for CW work does require that you know how to use a keyboard and you need to pay attention to some of the details here that I'm going to go over in this video. Have fun! Okay, we'll do a little bit of a test here. Uh, I have a relative in Florida that's a KN4IIY and he wanted to know if I could uh, hear him on 14062 on CW. So I typed in 14062 with the keyboard, hit enter, went to the CW mode, and then uh, over here I ran up this CW keyer that's down here. Let me uh, put that away. And I created a little call for him, KN4IIYDEW6FCC, how copy and all that stuff. So I stored it in memory 8. So if I were to transmit memory 8, uh, being in auto transmit mode, it will send it as I hit this key. Now it's going to go fairly slow right now because I've set the CW speed way down low for him. Now let me speed it up here, increase the side tone level. Now one of the things you're going to want to do is to calibrate if you can hear where that signal is, when you uh, are tuning in another station, you really want to hear that other station at that exact frequency that you have your side tone set to. And of course you can change the side tone easy enough. I can change this pitch here. I'm using the uh, wheel mouse. But no matter where I set the pitch, I'm still always on 140 so if I hear a station and I like that pitch tone, I tune him in until his signal sounds exactly like this, and then I know we're both on the same frequency. So let's try sending. A couple ways to do this. Take it out of break-in mode. I'm going to hit the uh, KK4NY, and here's a, a thing that I had sent to him. One way to do this is uh, just to hit the transmit key. Let's see what happens here. Now if you notice here, the transmitter is not going on. That's because right now all I'm doing is listening to it. So you test out, see if you like the way your code sounds and what have you. Okay, so now let me put the thing in break-in mode. Let's hear the difference. If you notice here, I have the spectrum scope, and this is on that same frequency, 14062. I have the uh, the bandwidth here at minus 5 to plus 5. I use that for sideband, because if you're in upper sideband, you want to stay within the 3KC limit. So there's 1, 2, 3. I'd like your signal not to go much higher than this. So let me go ahead and transmit. I'll put it into uh, auto transmit and I'm in break-in, so whatever happens in this screen is going to come out over the air because I'm in this break-in mode. Let's try it. Notice now the transmitter's on. There's power here. I'm set pretty high level. I can see the signal here on the spectrum scope. There's nothing going on on this band right now. I can go ahead and take it off center. Can't see anything now. The reason that I can see this is in this thing here. I have it so that I can see the scope while I'm transmitting. Scope during transmit. I wouldn't see that if that was turned in the off position. The other thing I've done is I've set the center to show the uh, frequency and the absolute frequency. There's the 14062 and I've used fill plus line. I've got a black waveform. I don't care about the waveform. On the line, I want to see the line in yellow and if I do decide to put the max hold on, that will end up being green. So this is uh, how you preset some of these things. Now watch this. If I if I were to slow this down, let me slow down the key speed down to like way down here, and I go ahead and I hit KN4. Now this would put anybody to sleep. But watch this. If I speed this up, it'll continue sending that word till it's done. And when it's done with that word, it'll speed it up again. And 
The other thing about this mode, if I go ahead and clear these two blocks, if uh, I put it into Auto TX and I start typing, it will transmit each time I hit a space bar or an enter. So I'm going to do uh, uh, testing here. V, 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 space. V, 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 D, E, W, 6, F, C, C. W, 6, F, C, C. V, V, K. Now, I didn't put a space at the end of the K, and here's what happens if you don't do that. doesn't send the K. I would have either had to hit the enter key or a space bar. The uh, dot dash ratio, you can set that wherever you want to. Let me try uh, another thing here, CQ. That's kind of a big difference between the dots and the dashes. So you can decide what you like the sound of that is, what sound you like. And you can change the CW speed as, as you wish. And of course you have the, uh, the filters that you can adjust. I'm using the wheel mouse. So let's see if there's anything going on on like uh, 40 meters, just for the heck of it. So I tune down to 40. I go down here into the low end of the band. Let's see what we find down here. Now here's what I mean about let me just take it off break in for a second and uh, go ahead over here and I want to do the calibration. Now I have to be in CW mode in order to run the calibrator. Now this person if I wanted to tune him in exactly let me turn this down a little bit he went away. Oh, there's that digital modes. Get some volume here. Now I'm at the guy's same frequency right now. If I turn on the notch filter, anything that's not on this frequency will disappear. They're now notched out. That's the other advantage of making sure you're on the right frequency. This is uh, notch is off. Oops, got to put the notch on. It's manual. It should go to auto here. I'm not sure why it's not going to auto. So these are some of the things you can do with CW, and of course if you want to change any of these settings, you go down here and hit this edit key, make changes here, so uh, type in this is a test, you're limited to 70 characters, uh, DEW6FCC, Jeff in California, OK. Or if you want to do SK, you hit a little carrot, SK, and that will uh, make it sound like that and then when you come back to here by the way it turns it into all uppercase for you so let's try sending this one this is and let's see what happens here let me put it in break in mode I don't know if I'm on someone else's frequency so I'm going to leave this band and go back to the where I was I think I'm on a frequency that's not in use so I go ahead and put it in auto transmit mode and I say this is a test Speed it up a little bit. And that's how you end up running the characters together with that little thing there. Now I'm also running 
a program here called CWGET. And if I go down and find some stations, let me go here to uh, 40 meters again so I can get something loud. And I'll go back here over to CWGET. Now, the reason I'm not seeing anything here is that I'm not on the right thing for this station. This one, let's see, which, which station am I running? I'm on the K9 station, so let me go over here to the K9. And K9 station is using V-Audio 1. Well, if that's the case, then I have to set CW get to be sure that it's listening on V on number one. Okay, I picked the wrong uh, V audio. I go back here and show you what I did. It was supposed to be the ICOM V audio and not number one V audio. So here's ICOM's V audio one, and that's the V audio that's used by this particular station. And then I say OK or apply. But uh, you notice here that there's the uh, this this fellow's Morse code is not very good. Sounds like he's doing it manually. station here that's loud. Maybe I need to open this filter up a little bit. The signals are only loud enough to decode. It works a lot better when the signals are stronger. And you can do other things here, auto gain control and go to the maximum. And if I set this, it'll adjust these two lines. If I turn off the threshold, I can actually manually set where I want this thing to decide to pick up Morse code. It's an interesting program. It's free. I have an unregistered version. So there you go. Uh, if you want to type a response while somebody is transmitting, you turn that transmitter off and you say F business, you know, uh, like a W1AW. When you're ready to send it, you just either go into auto transmit or you hit send. Now I'm going to drop the power down to zero here. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, and send it. In fact, if I take it off break-in mode, I think all I'm going to hear is the tones. And these tones are going to be set at the level of the uh, side tone. So you can test it without being on the air. You can test your ability to type and do whatever. That's it. W6FCC. There's probably a better demonstration out there of CW with the IC7300 and RSPA1. Uh, why don't you do one? <laughs> Again, this is Jeff. Have a, have a good uh, New Year. Goodbye. I did another video with CWGET. It actually works pretty good. Look for the video that uh, has a better decoding.